The cat in ancient Egypt was domesticated as a pet, worshipped like a god, and sacrificed in the religious process of mummification. To begin to understand why they were commonly sacrificed, it is important to know the ancient Egyptians' beliefs and values of cats. Cat mummification originated with the innocent notion of an owner taking their feline friend to the afterlife with them. Cats were revered for their ability to hunt unwanted pests, such as birds, rodents, and even serpents. A quote from the famous ancient philosopher Diodorus reads, The cat is useful against asps with their deadly bite and the other reptiles that sting. A trend then began depicting cats as gods and goddesses to be worshipped. Two examples are the goddess of war Sekhmet, a woman with a lion's head, and the goddess Bastet, protector of children and crops, depicted as a woman with a cat's head. Bastet was often worshipped in the town of Bubastis, where her cult center was located. In the 1800s, a cemetery of thousands upon thousands of cats were found mummified and buried in this town. They were initially have said to be raised in Bastet's temple, only to be sacrificed when they passed away. They were then elaborately wrapped or put in coffins before burial. However, in time, this trend proved to be profitable. As cats gained notoriety as valuable offerings, they began to be bred and killed for sales. Recent x-rays of uncovered cat mummies reveal characteristics of the ancient cats, some of which are evidence proving that they were marketable. The most common types of cats mummified were Felis libica and Felis chos. Servals were also occasionally uncovered, but are rare. Many of these cats did not die naturally. When examined, they showed fatal wounds to the head. Furthermore, a multitude of these mummies were less than a year old. The final indication of mass production exposed by x-rays was that many of these mummy wrappings contained nothing more than futile materials, such as sands or reeds. The mummified cat business made these ancient Egyptian relics some of the most common found today.